Hi everybody, this is Gerdy van Woerd at DareGreatlyCoaching.com and today I want to talk to you about embracing the suck. Now, wouldn't it have been great if I were the one who had come up with that one, with that um, expression, but unfortunately I didn't. I can't quite remember where I read it, I think it was on LinkedIn in an article, but apparently embrace the suck is what rookies have to do during... Um, Navy SEAL training, and I think it quite nicely covers what I want to talk about today as well. Because once you've figured out, or really admitted, you knew this already, but once you've really admitted to yourself that you hate the life you're living, you hate your job, your career, it may be that um, you then come up, most of us do actually, lots of us do, you then come up with two attitudes towards this realization. One, you wallow in self-pity, thinking there is no way I can uh, go and live my life as I want to because I will head for financial ruin, emotional ruin, relational ruin, any kind of ruin. And the other one is you moan a lot. You moan about how you're not living the life you want to live, how you're not living, working the career you want to have, the job you want to have. But if only you knew what it was that you wanted to do instead. And I'm very familiar with that one because I did that for years. Sometimes out loud, mostly in my head. And I kept telling myself I didn't know what I want, wanted to do. Until that is, I realized I was actually in a luxury position. And if you have chosen either one of these attitudes, you are too. Because you have the opportunity to use the relative safety of a job that you perhaps may not like, but still the safety of a job and a steady paycheck to figure out what it is you want to do with your life, with your career, with your job. That's what I did once I realized that. It took me a while to get there, but once I realized that, I thought, this is actually pretty good. I have a steady paycheck. I know what it is that I'm supposed to do. And um, I was, you know, I didn't have any, hey, Sashka. I didn't have any um, further ambitions to go places in that job, but I was comfortable at the level I was at. I knew what I was doing and I didn't have to, you know, worry about furthering my career there. So what I did was I started taking time to figure out what it was that I wanted to do. I sought help. I found myself a coach and a therapist and whatever else I needed. And I started figuring out what was really important to me. So instead of wallowing in self-pity, instead of moaning to everybody who wants to hear, and it, most of all yourself, about what it is that you would like to do, if only you knew what it is that you were, uh, would like to do, would want to do, what your dream job was, your dream career, your dream life, if only, if only, if only, stop doing that kick yourself in the butt, suck it up, lean into it, whatever you want to call it, and start figuring out what it is you want to be doing with the rest of your life. Get with it, get with the program, start taking control, and be the master of your own fate. You know, this is full, full of platitudes but uh, and uh, cliches, but the, they are platitudes and cliches for a reason. They are true. You are the only one who has the power to change your life. You can sit around and wait for, I don't know, um, divine intervention, God, the universe, whatever higher power it is you believe in. If that happens, you are one of the very, 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 very few that is lucky enough to have that happen to him or her. 
Most of us don't have that luck, don't get that lucky. So take control, start taking control of your own life, of your own destiny. If you hate your job, if you hate your life, start using the time you have to figure out what it is that you want to do. And I can tell you from my own experience, when you do that, you get an, a boost of energy because although you're still not exactly where you want to be, you are taking steps in the right direction. So, go there, go start, start moving, start figuring out what, you, what it is you want to do. And if you want some help, you know, f go to daregreatlycoaching.com, PMB, whatever it is you want to do. Find yourself a coach, find yourself somebody to talk to, and that will help you figure things out. It's not, um, you know, you don't need to be Einstein to, to do this. I know, because I'm definitely not Einstein. Although I do sometimes, you know, I'm very um, forgetful sometimes. I always say that um, I'm in good company because Einstein was, you know, brilliant people have that problem. But that's beside the point. So, I hope this helps. If you're still in that job, career, life you don't like, and perhaps even hate, use it. Use that time to start figuring out what it is you really want. You can do it. If I can, if I could, you can too. That's it for today. Have a great uh, day. <laughs> That's right, Sashka. We're both brilliant, you and me both. So um, that's it for today. As always, go there greatly. Have a great evening. Have a great day, whatever, wherever you are. Enjoy life to the max. Bye-bye.